Hello, this is Jill from Paper Daisy Crafting. Thank you for joining me again today. I'm hoping I can get through this video without coughing. I've been not been very well this week and I've got a dreadful cough still, um, but I'm gonna give it a try. This is the card we're going to make today. It was a card I made for a swap group where the theme was using DSP. And as you can see, I've used DSP um, to make my banners across here. Um, I've used the stack, the six by six stacks that are in our annual catalog in all the color families. Um, I've done mine in balmy blue, daffodil yellow and highland heather. So I think these two are from the subtles and this one is from the brights I think from memory um, anyway I'm going to show you how I made my card we need a Highland Heather card base to start with um, usual size that I use which is 21 centimeters by about 15 just slightly short of 15 14.8 centimeters score it at 10 and a half centimeters or it's eight and a quarter by six inches and score at four and an eighth before we do anything with that though, we need a stitched rectangle. This has been um, die cut already from one of our stitched um, rectangle dies. Just quickly gonna show you the die set, um, the rectangles, because they really are, if you haven't seen them, they're really gorgeous. All those rectangles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 dies there all different sorts of rectangles different dimensions long skinny ones short fat ones these ones which are like a base for a whole card really really useful so i would recommend if you haven't bought those yet i think they will be a really useful addition to your card making and my rectangle i've used the second second biggest one of the the big one the big set there um and it measures eight and a half by 12 centimeters or in inches three and three eighths by four and three quarters. So, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the happy birthday stamp from perennial birthday, and I'm gonna stamp that at the bottom of my panel. I'm stamping in um, Coastal Cabana. Love the combination of um, Highland Heather and Coastal Cabana. Really lo love these colours together. Right, and then we're going to try and stamp straight and we're going to try and stamp at the bottom of our panel. Just fits the panel, this, um, this stamp. So we're just going to try and keep that straight and stamp. Make sure there's pressure on all of your stamp. And there we go. So there's our happy birthday bottom of our card and that's all the stamping we're doing today so I can pop that away and then we're going to take three um, strings of pennants which is from the playful pennants die set and this has a stamp set that goes with it as well um, so this is the stamp set so you can stamp the pennants and then stamp messages in the flags with these little letters or you can stamp patterns on with these or you've got lots of little extra embellishments here which is really great i'm really loving all these little um, bits got some little hearts and little stars um really quite cute um anyway so that's the stamp set um the die set is here and you get these two strings of banners then you get these ones which um, don't have the string on them so that makes them a bit more um, versatile and then a few little shapes to cut out so with the tassel and the bow and the bird and the flowers will all cut out with those so what we're going to do is we're just going to position those if I bring my original in I'm just going to position these on my card um, so the first one going over like that so I'm just going to take my Tombow Sorry, I've got a little bit of glue on that already. I started um, to record this um, video earlier and then had a coughing fit and had to stop. Um, so there's a little bit of glue already on this one. So it will overlap, which is fine. We're going to trim the edges off. So just a little bit of glue on each of those. And that should do it, I should think. And that's just going to go from one corner there across to another. I'm just going to pull that up a bit because I want more or less full flags I don't want there to be half a flag so there's that one and I'm going to take the yellow one I think I've got so saffron here rather than daffodil yellow like I had on the last one I'm going to trim that off because I'm not going to need that little bit 
um, just a bit more glue on here um, like so really easy to make this little card and I really like these back down as I was a bit late to the party with bunting type cards but I really love them and I haven't used this set at all I bought it as soon as an annual catalogue came out and I don't think I've used it at all it was one of my favorites I think we got the stamp set free on stage and I immediately bought the, the die set haven't used it it's absolutely typical of me I buy all this stuff and then don't have enough time in my days to, to use it all but I think I will do some stamped um, banners quite soon with some letters in them which will be quite fun there we go there's the purple one goes along like so so that's our three banners zigzagging across our card and then all we need to do is turn the card over and you can just trim the excess off like so there we go and then that panel is going to just be mounted on a coastal cabana panel which is the same size as the stitch rectangle except it's slightly wider it's actually three and five eighths um, wide or nine centimeters wide instead of the width of the stitched rectangle so it's just got a border on each side and that's going to be that's going to go on there so I'm going to glue these together first don't know if you can hear how bad my voice is at the minute I'm still rather full of cold and tomorrow I've got to drive 170 miles to my parents house to look after them because they've been poorly with colds and they're in their late 80s so I'm going to be going to look after them for a few days so I was trying to get a vid one or two videos done before I go so that I don't leave you with no videos while I'm away um, there we go and then this will mount on there like so really love all these colors together and there we go a little bit more Tombow there's an awful lot of bugs around here in the UK at the moment I think a lot of people have been suffering um, fortunately I had the flu jab so I don't think what I've had is was flu but I haven't felt as bad as I felt this week for a long long time um, makes you feel all, all the more grateful when you do feel better when you realize that you normally do feel okay and not ill okay so that's it and then all we're going to do is put the two little bows at the ends here so I've made one little bow from twine like so and I'm going to take a glue dot I can find my glue dots here we go take a glue dot put that up here and then take my bow and plonk that on there and that'll be held like that and then I just need to tie another little bow so this is my twine just whisper white twine you could use any of our twines um, any colors you like um, so a tiny little loop thread that round and pull and then just pull it in so that it's even and then just trim off the edges oh that was easier sometimes when I do a bow on camera it goes wrong quite pleased with that one there we go and that's going to go over here on another glue dot there we go pop another glue dot there and then all that's left to do let's straighten that out a bit there we go um, all that's left to do is to put on some sequins and these are our self-adhesive sequins so don't need to worry about gluing them and we've got them in um, this silvery white colour I can't remember if that's just a neutral colour and I think this is gorgeous grape so I'm just going to one there and one there and one there and one there there we go simple little card to make hope you've enjoyed that um 
If you want to see more details about the project, just go visit my blog. You can subscribe to my blog um, to get notifications by email so that you never miss a post. I always post all of my videos on my blog so you wouldn't miss either then. But if you wanted to subscribe to my video channel then just click the bell below this video um, and then you'll or you need to subscribe and then click the bell and then you'll get a notification every time I post as well. Anyway that's it from me today. Don't forget the celebration is on at the moment so spend £45 and choose a free product um, and there's the fantastic joining offer if you've ever thought about being a Stampin' Up! demo now is the time to do it. Please get in touch if you want to ask any questions about that. £125 will buy you £170 worth of product plus a fabulous cr craft tote bag. Anyway, that's enough from me today. Managed to get through it without coughing. Hooray! Um, and I'll see you again soon. Cheers. Bye.